think today you entered in the class too early no sir uh, yes because in the last from the last three or four classes you are entering at like at five okay no problem that's all so now so in the last class i have discussed that how to solve this type of question how to solve this type of question like proving the irrationality of irrational number we have to prove here prove that root 2 is an irrational so this is the whole method now we will solve one more question so Prove that. Prove that. Root three is irrational. so first what we will do we will consider root as rational okay we will consider root 3 as rational see okay let root 3 is rational we have to prove irrational but i am considering root 3 is rational and root 3 can be re represented in the form of p upon q and p and this is and q are co primes co prime so co primes are the number having hcf equal to 1 means if you co prime i am writing here i am writing here for your for you if hcf of p and q is equal to 1 only so this i have assumed and root 3 is equal to p and q p and q are co prime and Co prime means p and q are integer also. You can yes. write means if they are co prime, then it is understood that these are integers. So, okay. first you have to do you have to consider root three as a rational number, and and if root three is rational, then root three can be represented in this form p upon q. Root yes. three can be represented in the form of p upon q i. i have told you in the beginning if a number is rational then that number can be represented in the form of p upon q means in the form of fraction in the form of uh, okay and and i have already told you that p and q are co primes co prime means that if we take the hcf of p and q we will get the hcf one and after this step after this step you have done this you have now this from here you have to solve the question now what i am doing i am squaring both sides both side means this is lhs left hand side this is rhs squaring both sides 
like this? Yes. So write root three in this form and squaring both sides. And what is the what is the answer of this? Three. Very good. Okay. I can write this as c square and upon q square. Okay. Now from here, from here, you should write this. Q square is equal to P square divided by 3. Q square divided by Q square is here. Now 3 is here. I can write like this. Why I am writing this? Why I am writing this? Because I want to use this theorem. If P is prime, if P divides A square, then P divides A. Yes. Means, I have already given the example. If 2 divides 10 square, then 2 will also divide 10. You can, you can check this also. 100 by 2 is equal to 50. 10 by 2 equal to 5. But again, exam may not be written. Okay? Yes, yes. You should not write this. This is just for your understanding. Okay? In the examination, you have to do like this. So, okay. from here, from here, I can say that. From here, I can say that. Means if you are dividing this p square by 3, you are getting some q square. You are This is the meaning of the statement. You are dividing this p square by 3, you are getting some q square and q is the integer. And square of integer is again an integer. Take any integer, yes. take any integer like 5. Square of 5 is equal to 25. So means the answer is again the integer. Or answer is again the integer. So, means we don't know the value of q square. We don't know the value of q square. Now, here, here also we have to suppose some value for q square. We have to suppose. Why yes. we are supposing everything? Why we are supposing everything? Because we want to solve the question. Otherwise, we cannot solve the question. If we will not suppose, then... Sometime you have to suppose. Okay. okay. So, okay. So, I am writing uh, this. Okay. From here, I can write, I am writing P square by 3 is equal to. Um, let Q square equal to P square by 3. After the Q square, we will get C. I am supposing Q square equal to C. Okay. Q square is equal to C. Let. I am supposing this. So, okay. Huh. So, from this you can write from the symbol of this symbol means it implies that it implies that three divides from here you can see now see here three divides p square means yes. three divides p p okay this is the theorem and forward that theorem you can easily understand that if 3 divides uh, any square of any number, like 9 square, then 3 can divide 9 also. Okay. No one is going to ask the theorem in the examination. 
they will ask you the question 99.9 percent time three divides p okay yes sir so um, so three divides p matlab means p is divided by 3 yes if p is divided by 3 and means this p is completely divided by 3 p is completely divided by 3 uh, actually here na no need of this okay you can uh, write this in the same form like you can write here q square only that is fine and consider this as equation but from here you you can write 3 divides p square then 3 div also divides p so i am writing there from this statement i am writing from this statement 3 divides p 3 divides p means p divided by 3 and we will if 3 divides p we will get some integer we will get some number we will get yes. some we will get some rational number we will get some integer and that integer i am supposing as c let i don't know what is the result of p by 3 but i am supposing it as c okay and from here i can write c equal to 3c this is equation 2 This is equation. Okay. Now, I am considering this as equation one. This as equation two. This as equation three. So now, what I am doing? from equation 1 and 3 what is the equation 1 equation 1 is root 3 is equal to p upon q root 3 is equal to p upon q this was the equation 1 yes and p is equal to 3c p is equal to 3c this is equation number 3 now i am putting the value of p here value of p now i am writing substitute p is equal to 3c in equation 1 so here is root 3 instead of p i am writing 3c and this is q this is q so i am multiplying this this will become root 3q and this is 3c okay now square square both the side squaring both sides after squaring both side we will get 3 q square divided by 9 c square so i can write from here c oh sorry q square is equal to q square is is equal to 9 c square divided by 3 Yes, and three three is a nine. Yes, sir. I will get q square is equal to ha three c square three c square.
okay i can write this like this no problem so now what i am doing what i am doing i am taking this 3 can i write this q square divided by 3 is equal to c square yes sir okay okay c square and it means that what does it mean it means that 3 divides q square yes sir it implies that 3 divides q this question is like walking in the darkness and there is nothing uh there is no light and all that you are just walking and walking this question is like this mm. but you have but you have to walk means you have to do the things like 3 divides q means q divided by 3 and this divides completely and we don't yes. know what is what is 2 by 3 but i am supposing b let so from here you i can write or you can write 3d so uh, what is the name of the equation equation number 4 this is equation 4 we have to convert actually q and uh, p q and p now from equation 3 and 4 from equation 3 and 4 we have p is equal to p is equal to 3c and q is equal to 3d and now c here c here at cf of p and q comes out to be 3 comes out to be 3 is it possible or not because in the beginning we know that hcf of p or p and q will on can only be 1 yes so means this our our assumption is wrong okay means we are proving ourselves wrong this is the question so scf of uh, p and q is 3 which is not possible which is not possible as p and q are co prime so from here you can write the theory co prime so our assumption is wrong wrong so what was our assumption that uh, root 3 is rational our assumption is wrong so what is right means hence we can say root 3 is irrational so this is something hence root 3 is irrational the story ends here please note it down okay
now in the same way you can prove that root 5 is irrational root 6 is irrational root 7 is irrational can you prove uh, can you prove uh, azan root 9 is irrational can you prove root 9 is irrational which yes, is sir. very good how can you prove root 9 is irrational because root 9 is what is the value of root 9 root 9 is 3 it is rational <laughs> okay we cannot prove means yes, we, like i am saying that only if uh, ha we will do uh, this process in yeah, uh, yeah 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 i have understood your feelings okay please note it down yes we have to do the question like this and one thing more in mathematics the more number of question you will solve the more better you will become in maths so rational numbers are those numbers which can be represented in the form of p upon q where p and q are co primes or integers you can say where q is not equal to 0 or uh, there is one more method to identify the rational numbers the numbers without decimals like 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are rational numbers and uh, the numbers which have terminating decimals numbers with terminating this decimal like 3.5 3.698 3.8 these numbers are rational number and if you have a numbers like 3.1935283 and so on means this is irrational like pi the value of pi is 3.1429 i don't know what the exact value is it means it's go on in uh, in decimal so that's why the pi is irrational number and uh, okay write it have you written this i am writing okay okay please write Hasan completed? Yes. Scroll down. Scroll down. Yes. Little. Okay. Okay. Okay, na? Yes, sir.
Let's scroll down. Now fine? Yes, sir. Run completed? No, sir. One. Okay. Then, sir. Okay, then. So. From from here, na? Yes, sir. Then. Uh, whole question. Yes. You have completed till here. Yes, sir. But I have not scrolled down. How you have complete? You have completed by yourself. Yes, sir. Okay, very nice. Are you sure now you have completed? Yes, right. sir. Okay, okay. So now we will see some some other varieties of this. Those varieties are very easy. Show that five minus root three is irrational. Five minus root three. So let five minus root three is rational. Rational means five minus root three can be represented in the form of p upon q, where q is not equal to zero, and p and q are co prime. So in the in this type of question, we will do something different. We will do something different. Can I write this five minus p y q is equal to root three? Yes, sir. Now again, please look at the screen very carefully. Okay. This five. This five. This five is rational. This five is rational, and this p upon q is again rational. 
Yes, sir. This P upon Q is rational now. We have discussed that. This is also rational. And what is this? This is irrational. And what you are doing? You are subtracting a rational from a rational and getting an irrational. See there. That's why I have written this. Rational. Okay. Please add this one also. Means you can say, you can you can think this without that also. Rational minus rational. Take any rational number like five is a rational. Three is a rational. You will always always get the result result rational. I have not written there because you already knew this. Yes. Sir. Okay. But the result here is irrational. Here the result is irrational. Okay. Here the result is irrational, and that cannot be possible. That cannot be possible. So here we can write. Subtraction of two rational number cannot be a irrational number. Subtraction of two rational numbers cannot be an Irrational. So, our assumption is wrong. Hence, we can say three minus root five is rich. This result I have not. Uh, this thing I have not written earlier because we know this very well. Rational minus rational equal to rational. Take any two rational number like yes. nine minus eight, always a rational. So that's why I have not written there. Okay. So this is the way to solve this type of question. This is rational. R is I have re, I have represented R. Has a rational number. P upon Q is again rational. So please note it down. P upon Q is rational because P is an integer, Q is an integer. Integer by integer. Can be a number that can be expressed in the form of P upon Q. Means integer divided by integer. So means number is.
So in this way, you have to solve these types of questions. Adan, do you watch Marvel movies? Yes, sir. Do you, uh, do you watch Marvel movies like Iron Man and all that? No, sir. Okay, very good. completed yes okay so so this is a, another type of question and uh, So this is one another type. Let three root two, three root two is rational. Rational means three root two can be written. In this form, P by Q. Okay. And Q cannot be equal to 0. And you can write P and Q are integers or P and Q are co primes. So, okay. now, um, this is a very easy question. I can write this root 2 as P upon 3Q. Now look here at this very, very carefully. This is rational? Yes. And what about P 3Q? 
ओके सो p अपॉन q p एंड q आर इंटीजर्स p एंड q आर इंटीजर्स इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई अ इंटीजर दिस इज आल्सो इंटीजर विद इंटीजर वी विल गेट द इंटीजर सम डिफरेंट इंटीजर लाइक 3q यू आर गेटिंग r so again this is the if p upon q is an integer then p upon r also sorry if p upon q is rational then then p upon r is also a rational means this term should be rational for example if you have not getting my point then i am giving you that now i have told that p upon q is rational so suppose take any number p p divided q i am taking q as 7 so this is rational if any number can be represented in this form that number will be rational now what i am doing i am multiplying q with 3 look 3 into 7 this will become 5 upon 21 again this is rational because this is represented in this form azan so from yes. here we can say this is are yaar this is irrational na yes sir this is irrational and this is rational can a irrational number be equal to a rational number never na no never irrational number means i irrational number is equal to rational number which is not possible which is not possible means on your left hand side there is a irrational number and which is equal to the rational number which is on your right hand side which is not possible so i am writing the full this is just for your understanding okay this part mm -hmm. this part so here i am writing here i am writing mm. in lhs 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 means left hand side left hand side of your copy of your screen left hand side we have root 2 which is irrational which is irrational but on r h s side we have p upon 3q and p upon 3q which is rational which is rational okay so we can say from here which is not possible yes sir which is not possible so we can say so our assumption a double s u m p t i u l assumption is 
wrong. Hence, what was our assumption? Our assumption is this number, the number is rational, but we are wrong, means this number is irrational. Yes. 3 root 2 is irrational. This theory you can write accordingly. Okay. So please note it down. Completed as on? No, sir. Sir, can you scroll down? Okay. LHS means left hand side. Okay, Azan. That's all for today, and please.